If you want to pump your body and expand your mind, there's only one place to go. Mind Pump. Mind Pump. With your hosts, Sal Stefano, Adam Schaefer, and Justin Andrews. In this episode of Mind Pump, uh, we're talking to trainers. Uh, you know, a lot of gyms are closing down right now. A lot of trainers are freaking out. Uh, how are they going to maintain their business? How are they going to train their clients? So we give you some solutions in this episode. Uh, now, we start out by talking about uh, why we love trainers so much. We talk about what your true role is as a trainer and how your clients need you now more than ever. And then we give you some solutions. Uh, we talk about how you can proactively call your clients and what kind of conversations you can have with them. We talk about using FaceTime to take them through workouts, how you should probably focus on mobility. Mobility requires no equipment. So uh, this is a great time to work on something that's usually neglected but extremely important uh, for every client. We talk about breaking up your their workouts. Instead of doing an hour session like you normally do in the gym, 20 to 30 minute sessions through FaceTime and do them more frequently. So instead of training them twice a week, now you're seeing them four times a week. We talk about how to communicate with confidence and of course how to accept payment so you can continue building your business even through these strange times. Now this episode is brought to you by our sponsor Zbiotics. Now Zbiotics is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic that breaks down a toxic byproduct of alcohol called acetylaldehyde. So acetylaldehyde is widely believed to be the reason why we feel so terrible the day after we drink. The buildup of acetylaldehyde causes symptoms like upset stomach and headaches. Listen, this stuff really works, no joke. Justin, Adam, and myself have tested it on numerous occasions. In fact, on one of them, we went a little too far. We don't recommend that, by the way. But we were blown away at just how good we felt the day after we drank. Super easy to use, by the way. You just drink z before you start celebrating and drinking alcohol, and that's it. Now, of course, because you're a Mind Pump listener, you get a discount on any of their products. So here's what you do. Go to zbiotics.com. That's Z-B-I-O-T-I-C-S.com forward slash mind pump. You'll get 10% off their three pack, six pack, and 12 packs. Also, this month, we put Maps Anywhere on sale 50% off. Now, we designed that program and we wrote it and created it a few years ago. This program is designed to give you a phenomenal workout without any exercise equipment at all. All you need are resistance bands and your body. We wanted to make a workout program that was effective without weights, without machines, essentially without equipment. You can do this program anywhere. And since you're probably stuck at home, uh, just do it in your living room. And it's 50% off. So here's how you get that discount. Go to mapswhite.com. That's M-A-P-S-W-H-I-T-E.com. And use the code white50. That's W-H-I-T-E-5-0, no space. For the discount. Justin and I were talking about this this morning as we we're watching news. This is the most news I've watched. Oh, yeah. Maybe, and Doug brought it up, probably since 9-11. Yeah. I think ever. Oh, yeah. 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 I think I've watched more news for this than I did 9-11. Yeah, oh, it's, it's it's depressing. Turn it off. It's too much. I know. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, what I'm wa- I'm watching like what what we're doing as a country. So I'm I'm really uh, I got a statistic for you right now. Uh, on an average day, uh, California gets uh, two thousand applications for unemployment. Uh, yesterday, they received eighty thousand. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. So, yeah, so I'm, yeah. I, you know, I'm curious to those things, like what we're going to do economically. I know I've heard rumors of of people getting check are going to be getting checks uh in in the mail at one point so yeah i'm 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 curious to to what we're going to do about that i just i saw i read the article that you sent over about uh house house sales de- decreasing by like 35% is what they predict into fall or something yeah so. yeah i yeah, i mean there's going to be some economic ramifications but we're such a wealthy country and uh as we've proven time and time again uh, when there's massive hardship we all tend to come together. Um, you know, you use September 11th as an example. Um, you know, that was, uh, I mean, it was a terrible, terrible tragedy, but uh, the way people came together afterwards, I'd never felt anything like that before. I'd never felt so uh, so connected to the people around me, regardless of uh, race or creed or uh, gender or whatever, um, because of it. You know, uh, 2000, the 2008 financial crash was crazy, but um, it led to the creation of some uh, very dynamic 
innovative businesses, um, you know, as a result of it. And so, you know, as terrible as this is, and I, I'm not trying to make any light of it, by the way, I, th I think it's terrible. It's um, interesting. I think, yeah, I yeah. think I think it's going to I'm curious to see how businesses evolve after this even and how people have adjusted to, you know, even having more offerings with their business online or, you know, like what what that's going to do for the workforce even like cuz it, it's interesting to see when you have all this time like how productive you can be or how efficient you can be and like how much you can do at home versus like how much you really need to be at work and you know right. businesses that are going to evaluate that will be interesting to watch. Oh, so I got a DM today from uh, a, a trainer, a fitness um, influencer, who's also a trainer. She's she's really good, so she knows her stuff or whatever. And um, she sent me a message and she said, you know, uh, thank you guys for what you're doing because she goes, you know, my, my gym closed down. I panicked, you know, for a few days, didn't know what to do. Um, you know, what was I going to do? How was I going to make ends meet? Because that's how she... You know, that's how she, she, that's, that's what she does for a living. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, and, and you guys are really helping. She goes, you know, a lot of us trainers are looking, uh, at mind pump, uh, for, for leadership, you know, to help us figure this out during this time. And mm -hmm. so I, I messaged her back and I said, you know, the sure gyms are closed, but the, the, the need for health, uh, if anything, um, is, is higher. There's, there's a, there's a higher demand for it. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure before when people were going to gyms and weren't so freaked out, you know, uh, yeah, I want to burn body fat. I want to sculpt my body. I want to look good. I want to be sexy. You know, right now, fitness is, is even more important than that, far more important than the cosmetic. It's, you know, we're, we're, we're keeping people sane and healthy, uh, keeping people's minds healthy. And uh, as trainers, um, you know, that's, that's, your, that's really your role. You know, uh, this is why we love trainers, right? This is why we talk about, trainers all the time is you know when you ask trainers when, when i went and, when i go and do these these uh these these seminars to trainers i love opening the seminars by asking trainers uh what made them get into fitness in the first place like why why do you do this mm -hmm. and i've never one time have i ever had a trainer raise their hand and say i did this uh for the money never i've never heard that yeah uh, uh, the number one answer, which is almost the only answer I ever hear, is I have a deep passion and love for fitness and helping people. Um, and that's hasn't changed. The context has changed. The gyms are closed, but uh, you're still the fitness leader um, for your clients. Well, that's no, and, and hopefully, a lot, hopefully, a lot of um, trainers are obviously remaining still in contact, right? I mean, uh, everyone's being quarantined to home, mm -hmm. but hopefully if you are, are running a good fitness business, even if a majority or all of it was, uh, in person, uh, you are starting to pivot and stay in, but stay in touch with clients and find ways to still coach and help them. And, you know, I thought you, you brought up a, a really good idea to, do an episode centered around that, uh, where mm -hmm. we can give some some good tips on on ways that we would do this if uh, we were training clients in person, and that was the mm -hmm. main way that we monetized. You know, something b before we do start on it, though, I want to uh, ask your opinion and give mine on on what I've seen. That you know, there's a lot of people that are, you know, still pushing uh, the weight loss and uh, you know calorie restricted diets and. Personally, I, I don't think uh, right now that's a really smart strategy as a coach uh, with your client. Even if your client's main goal is to lose 30 pounds of, of body fat, uh, I would think at a time like this, um, if there was ever a time that you would take a client and keep them at at least maintenance calories, if not surplus, uh, I would think would be now uh, to, to keep you well fed. What, what's your opinion on that? Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I mean, I think it's, uh, but really boils down to what's the healthiest thing for the client, which again, that doesn't change just because the gyms are closed. Like that's, right. that's the same thing yeah. you would do when the, when you work in a gym, you know, if I, if I work in a gym and somebody comes up to me and says they want to lose a ton of weight and then, you know, I, I have them track their food. I look at their lifestyle and I realize as the expert, this is not a good time to cut your calories. Your, 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 your metabolism slow. You're not very active. We need to build some muscle first. We need to work on strength. Um, and it's my job to communicate that to the client uh, effectively in a way that gets the client to understand that the best thing to do is to do the best thing that's for their health and to trust me 
as their fitness professional. It's no different today. It's no different. Okay. The gyms are closed. That's still what you do. You are still the fitness leader for your clients. You know, I was, uh, I, one of my friends, Eric, he's a good friend of mine. He's a, he's a, a financial advisor, very successful financial advisor. This guy, seven figures a year he earns. And you know, when he started as a financial advisor, hmm. right, right before the 2008 crash, Oh wow. right before, that's when he started. Man. That's when he started. He started right before the 2008 crash. And when that all happened, people were, I mean, there were, there were stockbrokers and financial advisors jumping off uh, uh, rooftops, mm -hmm. you know, killing yeah. themselves because they were, because they're, and he looked at it totally different. He said, this is when people need financial leadership. They need it more now than they ever needed it before. And that's how he approached it. And he ended up building a uh, tremendous trust among some incredible clients. And now he's the guys, of course, extremely successful. So here we are where gyms are closed. People can't go to the, they're stuck at home. They're really nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're, 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 this is when you need somebody in your life that you trust, who knows what they're talking about to lead you through health and fitness. So if you're a trainer and you're scared right now and you're thinking, Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Look in the mirror, slap yourself in the face. Okay. Shake it off. The reality is you need to step up. This is the time to step up and figure out how you can really help these people when they actually need, they need this more now. Mm -hmm. uh, than they ever did before. And we're going to give you guys some, you know, we'll give you guys some, some suggestions on how you can do that. Um, you know, so you could lead your clients. And, and I think the first thing you should do is don't be reactive, be mm -hmm. proactive. In other words, don't wait for clients to call you or don't ignore them. Right. I'm sure, you know, gyms are closing. You don't want to sit, oh, oh, gyms are closing. What am I going to do? And then the clients are just like, okay, I guess I'm not, training with, you know, my trainer anymore. I guess I'm just going to stay at home and whatever, mm -hmm. get on the phone and call them up and have the conversation with them. You know, like, you know, Hey John, it's, you know, it's Sal from the gym. Look, I know the gym's closed, mm -hmm. but, uh, you, you know, we still need to stay active. In fact, it's probably more important now with all the stress and stuff that's going on. Right. So, um, don't worry. Uh, I'm still your trainer and I have some solutions for you. This is what we're going to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Have those conversations, you know? Maintaining that normalcy is going to be huge right now, especially if you have a time slotted where your clients that are super consistent. Like I've had some lifer clients that have always trained at that one time and to at least have a check-in where we're calling in or, you know, as we talk about this further about how to virtually train or, you know, through FaceTime or just connect with them, you know, and, and try and stay as consistent as possible, I think would be, you know, a massive advantage. Well, that, that advice is, is really uh, important for uh, a lot of these trainers that are in like the Midwest or, you know, if you're obviously if you're in Washington, California or New York. Uh, you're already being forced to pivot, right? You, yeah. uh, your gyms are shut down. You don't have an option. But there's a lot of trainers right now that are, you know, they're they're starting to gyms are starting to roll through the mm -hmm. country and closing down, or they can still see some of their clients. Some of their clients are paranoid about coming in. Some of them are not, and so they're still kind of trucking along like that. That to me, this message uh, is really to those trainers that it, it's inevitable. We're coming. You're. It's probably coming to your city, your state at one point that you'll have to close down. And if even if you don't have to close down, I'm sure everybody is feeling somewhat uh, of a decrease in in traffic with their with their clientele because of this. And so don't sit and wait until your business is shut down and you're getting nobody coming to see you anymore before you already start getting creative and thinking of ways to, you know, contact your clients virtually or, or over the phone, right? Yeah. I, oh yeah. So what I would do is this, if you're a trainer listening right now, take your client list, you write out all your clients' names on a piece of paper mm -hmm. and then uh, underneath each one, write down some details about them and what your strategy is going to be for each individual client. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have a generic conversation with your clients. You know, Hey, I know gyms are closing. Hey, don't worry. We'll do whatever you want to be able to call them up and say, Hey Susie, look, I know we've been working on your lower back pain. Right. Um, you know, and we've been using, you know, this machine and those dumbbells or whatever. Um, I have some solutions for you. We don't need the gym to work on those things. In fact, I think this actually might be a good uh, change for you. Um, you know, normally this is how we work out, but this is what we're going to, transition to or you know john i know we've been working on fat loss uh and we've been doing these kinds of workouts in the gym 
Uh, but since the gym is likely to close or it is already closed, I've come up with some solutions for you. Like that makes such a huge difference. I mean, oh, yeah. the, you know, you got to remember your, your clients don't just look to you to just show them exercises. They look to you to, to lead them uh, through this process. And part of leadership is being proactive and not reactive. You know, don't sit and wait for your clients to call you. <clears throat> no, By the be, way, be clients- assertive. You got to be assertive in yes. this situation. They're looking to be led. And if you don't be the trainer who's waiting to hear from your clients to tell you, hey, I don't want to come in, or, or you as a trainer going, hey, what do you want to do? You know, tell them what you think is a good idea to be doing right now. Uh, during this time and be assertive in this situation. Yeah. I sure. love I love revisiting and looking back at uh, all the data that I had collected on clients. Like this is where I would go through all my paperwork, all the metrics and things that you know we've had tested. Uh, you know, try and really identify you know even further what the needs are there, so you can really articulate that to your client now and have like a deeper conversation. Because a lot of times we get kind of caught up in in the hustle of servicing and servicing our clients and making it entertaining and doing all these things and to be able to provide uh, like some more very specific answers for them in terms of like, well, here's actually probably the strategy that we're going to implement, you know, for now, but also when we get back into the gym, uh, that's going to make you even more successful on your journey with us. Well, I know, I I know these are, uh, you know, Sal, you had taken some notes and and the order of uh, the advice, but I think what what makes a lot of sense is talking about, um, you know, what are some exact things that I would tell somebody right now? Because here's the thing you have to take in consideration um, is every, people, even your clients, may be also affected financially by this. So there's also going to be the, a, a, a little fear factor in them of continuing to pay, uh, you know, top dollar for their trainer. So I love the, the strategy of uh, decreasing the time to 30 minutes. Hmm. And I also love the idea of it doesn't always have to be purely focused on um, just exercise. You know, it could be a, a, a different a different strategy. For example, I would look at my client base and know, you know, and we, and we can all recall like, you know, the client that is, you know, really good about showing up to the gym and getting their weightlifting routine in, but terrible about doing their stretching, stretching and corrective work. Uh, or really good at doing all the, all the stuff as far as exercise is concerned from mobility and training, but then really t- terrible at the diet. I would even do stuff like cooking, cooking, FaceTiming and cooking mm-hmm. with my client. Mm-hmm. Like saying, hey, you know what? This is a great time. We're all stuck at home. Um, I've been trying to get you to do some of these healthy recipes that I tell you are really easy. We're going to make one together. You're going to FaceTime me for 30 minutes. Um, we're going to put together uh, a couple of recipes that I think will really uh, help you out during this time. And it's been something that we've been talking about doing and you haven't got around to do it. Well, we're home now. Let's do some of these. Um, oh, it's perfect. Right. It's, it's great. It's, it's great. And, and, and imagine the value you're going to provide to these people. And let's say later on when the gym's reopen, you're going to have clients uh, for life. You're going to mm-hmm. build so much tremendous value during this, this strange weird time but you, you know you mentioned facetime i mean gosh uh, what a what a wonderful tool i've been using facetime every single day because you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm self-quarantining so i'm not even visiting uh with family members or anything like that so it's just you know jessica and i at home just the two of us so every single day i facetime my, my parents i facetime my brother my sister you know my kids right now they're with their mom and you it, it's it's uh so valuable you could look at the person's face well as a trainer um, I mean, it, it's almost as good as being there in person. It's not quite, but it's damn close. You got a live video yeah. with the person that you can watch. And so you FaceTime them, literally have them prop the phone up and you just, you got to direct them. Say, okay, can you put the phone so I could see your whole body? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Put it right there and I'll step back. Okay. You're, you're, that's, that's the perfect position. Stay in that position right there. Okay. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Here's the exercise I want you to do. And then you train them. Mm-hmm. You walk them through. It's it's live training, just like when you were in the gym. Use FaceTime, and it costs nothing. It doesn't cost anything uh, to use it at all. So now you're literally in their living room, training them. In fact, I'm not. I, I wouldn't be surprised if really, really good trainers who utilize this end up developing and building. Uh, a huge business and decide to keep it this way, mm-hmm. uh, even when when well, gyms not, open. Not if you if you're being creative and actually think like really, I would be um, 
I wouldn't be generic about this, right? Like I wouldn't just go, okay, I'm not training in person. Now I'm training all my clients virtually. Let's see if everyone will do that. I would really try and individualize. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love the idea of the like the 30 minute session for like a yeah. discounted rate. So it, it gives them a little bit of a break. Then in addition to that, I'm doing something that that person I know needs more than anything else. It's like, hey, I know we were right in the middle of running like a MAPS aesthetic and we were building your physique and that was important. But you know what? I've been stressing to you so much how much we need to work on that hip mobility that you're not doing. So what I want to do with you is to do 30 minute mobility sessions where we're going to focus just on that. Mm -hmm. It'll only be this much instead of charging you this much, which I normally would charge you to do it. And that's what we're going to do for the next two to three weeks until we find out what's going to happen longer, if we're going to be stuck here for even longer, or we're going to be back in our gym. So I like the idea of, of being assertive as a trainer and coach, knowing your client, knowing there are other needs that they could be focused on other than just working out. Obviously, working out's the easy one, right? Like the easy go-to, you keep your program going, you have them prop the phone up, you train them through there. But I, I think I would take, the, take advantage of this time of them being home to probably address – I mean, we know that – I, I did. I used to do this all the time. My very first session or two with a trainer or a client would be, you know, assessing, addressing all their their mobility issues, telling them. But then I would tell them, this is stuff that you need to work on. I'm going to train you through mm -hmm. all the compound lifts, the really advanced type of training. But I need you to. Do this. And the reality of it is, a lot of those people neglected that. Here's where I'm going to to enforce that. Now that we're stuck in our living room. And okay, maybe we're not going to prioritize the weight training as much. And now let's address mobility and work on yeah. that. And this is something yes. too that I, uh, whenever one of my clients would leave on like a big business trip or something like, um, I would try as, as, as hard as I can to provide value. So it wasn't just like a generic uh, circuit that they were going to do in their hotel room or whatever. Like it was a very specific three to four, uh, mobility exercises that are addressing the aches, the pains, uh, the things that, uh, will really set them up for better movement patterns and, and really dive into that specifically. So to even not just, you know, having that time of FaceTime, but also adding in more value by filming yourself doing those exercises and then texting it to them or emailing it to them so they can have a constant reference, uh, you know, for those things. Cause mobility is something that you practice constantly and it, it it's throughout the day. It's not just that one time. And so this is a good time to take advantage of it. You have nothing better uh, to do uh, while you're at home and you have limited uh, equipment at your oh, disposal. To, to, that, to that point, Justin, you know, you know, it's a, you're a trainer, you're sitting at home all day long. So you got your phone or your TV in front of you. I mean, this is where I'm stepping yeah. Start up. Start building your library. I, I'm also stepping up my texting game on clients. If I if I just told a client that totally. I want you to do 90, 90 three times for five minutes throughout the day, I'm sitting on my ass on my phone anyways. I'm gonna, you know, have that that already ready to, to post over. Did you do it? Rem like and just send manual reminders yep. to my clients and stay on top of them. You totally. Know, it's not yep. something they're gonna be annoyed about. It's something they're gonna, especially if you can hold them accountable to doing it. It's, they could come out of this two or three weeks later, end up thanking you for the service that you end up giving them, and benefit greatly. Listen, you're not going to you're not going to annoy people. Uh, people are, were, were social animals. The, contacting them, talking to them throughout the day, they're going to absolutely love it. Now, a lot of trainers, the way that they sell their training is in packages. They'll sell ten sessions or twenty sessions or thirty sessions. So now the gym is closed. You probably have a lot of clients who have remaining sessions. So, and they're typically done 60 minutes, right? An hour long. So if you have a client who's got 10 remaining sessions, an hour each, call the client up and say, hey, look, I'd love to train you uh, over the phone, over FaceTime. Um, but rather than doing your 10 sessions as one hour each, I'm going to cut them all in half, 30 minutes each. So now you have 20, 30 minute workouts with me. The person's going to love it, number one. And number two, it, it's, it's uh, more suitable to FaceTime mobility workouts. And you're absolutely right. You guys are totally right. Like I would 100% focus on mobility with every single client. First off, mobility requires no equipment anyway. So if I, if I'm doing mobility with somebody, I don't care. I don't care if I'm in a gym, I'm not using equipment to do mobility work where we're, it's, it's all body weight. It's all intrinsic tension. By the way, if you're a trainer and you're listening and you need, you know, mobility, you know, movement uh, tips and advice or whatever, our YouTube channel, we have tons of them on there. And then, of course, uh, like we recommend always, Maps Prime Pro. I mean, there's a whole library in there of uh, pretty much everything you can think of for every joint in the body. Mm -hmm. um, and you're taking the person through just 30 minute mobility workouts throughout, uh, you know, and do them every single day. So if you trained John 
for, you know, two hours a week. So, you know, one hour on Monday, one hour on Thursday, rather than doing that, do 30 minutes on Monday and Tuesday, and then 30 minutes on Thursday and Friday. So you're still servicing those two hours, but now you, you cut it up and you're only focusing on mobility. And of course you do that all uh, through FaceTime. Oh, tremendous, tremendous value. If you don't, if you don't own prime or prime pro or anywhere here where you can actually just walk your client through those, then you're and you don't want to and you're afraid to invest right now, which I would totally understand. The YouTube channel is filled of stuff like this that we've already created for free for everybody. Mm -hmm. And how easy is that as a trainer that you just take the time to go through all the exercises that we have on YouTube right. and literally pluck all and they're all categorized in mobility sections. So take all those out, put together a really good you know, 30 minute routine for your clients, send the videos over so they have something to watch and then literally just check up on them. I mean, that to me, there's a lot of different creative options that you can do as a trainer. I think the things that you have to take into consideration, and that's why I really love the idea and the recommendation that you said of splitting them in 30 and extending them, that the, uh, a client that's invested hundreds or thousands of dollars in you and, and it, that is just as probably stressed out as you are during this time, uh, what a, what an awesome way to give back to them by doing that, but making them feel like, oh, wow, this is going to stretch me out longer during this time. And then you being assertive as a trainer, telling them how we're going to use these 30 minutes for you to get the biggest bang for your buck. Man, uh, you if you do a good job of this, a lot of clients, when we all come out of this, like you said, it's you're going to end up getting lifers or you may end up having a side hustle or business that now complements your in-person business where right. you had no idea you had a, you had a little model here of walking clients through recipes what that a, people would have paid for. What a great way to uh, transition your clients too, right? Like when uh, you know you they're on their way out or you have like another offering of, of a way to still stay in contact with them and, and offer a service while you're still connected to them. But you know, it's not as financially taxing. And so this is like a whole nother, uh, you know, addition to the business that you just you reinforce your business with. Well, and this, this advice doesn't just apply to trainers that are in their business, right? So the same advice I'm giving to a client or I'm giving to the population that's listening to this podcast right now that doesn't have a personal trainer and doesn't have a personal training business. Like these are things that I would be doing if I were you like, right. I would be working on those healthy recipes that I haven't spent any time on. I'd be addressing my mobility. I'd be addressing my isometric exercises. I would make sure that I'm eating in a caloric maintenance. So all the, all this advice that we're giving for coaches for how to, how to keep their business running and operating this, the same advice still applies to the average listener right now that it doesn't have a doesn't have a training business or doesn't have a client. These are things that I would in encourage you to do, and we have all the resources for free to utilize that. Totally, totally. And, and look, think of it this way, okay? Think of it. If, if, put your your yourself in the mind of your, your in your client's mind. So here they are. Gyms are closed. They know they have ten sessions outstanding with you. They may be thinking, "I'm never going to see that. I'm never going to see that money I invested." The gym's closed. The economy's taking a dump. What am I going to do? Then they get a call from you. Hey, look, here's how we're going to use those sessions. Like that's massive value. That's incredible value. The person is just going to love you for it. So you absolutely uh, need to be able to do that. And have, again, have these positive, assertive uh, conversations with the client. And by, here, here's some strategies, okay? Here's some strategies if you're a little bit worried about how do I communicate this to my client? How do I present this? Try this out. Call them up. Say, hey, John, you got 10 sessions left. They're an hour each. I'd like to break those up into 30 sessions, uh, excuse me, 30 minutes each session. So now you have twice as many. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, look, the first one I'm going to give you is free. I want you to just try it out. I'm going to call you up. Uh, our, we normally are scheduled at 9 a.m. on Thursdays. Does that still work for you? Okay, perfect. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call you at that time. I'm going to take you through a 30-minute mobility workout that I'm going to design specifically for you because I know your body. I know what you need to work on. And then if, if you like it, we'll just keep going. And you can also present that to clients who don't have outstanding sessions. You can call them up. And the way I would present it is just like this. It'd say something like, hey, John, this is Sal. Look, I know, you know, gyms are closed. I know we're not training anymore. Or your sessions are up. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's probably even more important uh, to stay active and stay healthy. This is what I've been doing with some of my current clients. I've been getting on FaceTime with them and taking them through individualized workouts and mobility sessions. They're only about 30 minutes uh, at a time because mobility sessions only really last that long. And so what I'd like to do for you is I'm gonna give you a free one. So uh, I could call you up tomorrow. 
Let me know what's a good time. And I'll take you through a 30 minute free mobility session. We're going to work on the areas that I think, you know, you need to work on your hips or whatever. Um, and then we'll take it from there. If it works for you and you like it, um, and, uh, the, uh, you know, we can discuss how we can continue further. You can hire me and until the gyms, uh, reopen, uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be training people this way and working with people this way. And, and like I said, I think it's more important now I, than ever. I think, I think that I think we need to elaborate a little bit on something that you just did that I think is really important. It reminds me of managing trainers for so many years and the ones that did really well naturally and the ones that I had to spend a lot of time coaching up and if you're if you're a good communicator and assertive uh you're probably not struggling so much right now because what you just did is that like the, and this is an area where it it seemed like it was a 50-50 split for me with my staffs always I had half the staff that really got this uh, and understood it well and then I had the other half that were just so timid afraid to ask for money afraid to tell their clients um, and they, they really treated it just like as a service business that I'm here for you. You tell me what you want and I'll do it. And in, in a situation like this, these are the trainers that are really going to be hurting right now. If they don't figure this piece out, you've got to learn to be assertive and, and take lead in this situation and tell your clients the ideas that you have and what you would like to do with them versus waiting for them to tell you and hoping. If you do that, you're really going to struggle in this situation. If you get creative, and the worst thing that's going to happen is they say no. That's the, right. The worst thing that's going to yeah. happen is they say, you know what, Sal? Um, I'm stressed. My wife, uh, her job is shut down right now. My job is shut down right now. I know I've got a couple sessions left with you. But I'm I'm afraid to even use those up right now. I'm I'm gonna hold for right now, or I don't have any money to. It, that's the worst. So what? You're on to the next. You've hopefully, if you've been training for a while, you've got a list of already clients that you have or had, or potential clients that you can be reaching out to, um, and that you start doing that. But the trainers that will be okay in this situation are the ones that aren't afraid to be assertive and and tell your clients what we're going to be doing and force them to be the ones to say, no, I don't want to do that or I can't do that. Um, you'll be surprised. Many of these people are waiting for you to tell them that and lead them in the right direction, you know? And by the way, uh, you know, uh, again, what, one of the, the, you know, I talked earlier about the seminars I do with trainers. Uh, one of the main things that I talk about is uh, communication skills, uh, which is another, you know, effective communication skills, which is another word for sales skills. And so uh, my favorite, the, the number one best uh, objection that you can get from a, a client uh, or a potential client is the money one. Believe it or not, you know, oh, I don't I don't really know. Money's kind of tight. I don't want to I don't know if I can spend that much. That's great because you have a solution. You can just get creative. Now, here's the reality. You're doing this all over the phone. Right. So why not get creative and do a 15 minute session right a 20 minute session well i, I love your idea too of don't be afraid to offer free service right now too right right don't be afraid of hey this is something that i'm doing for a lot of my clients if you're not sure about it let let me take you through it let me take you through this 30 minute mobility session let me take you through this 30 minute cooking session let me take you through this nutritional coaching 30 session you know call let come up with ideas don't be afraid to offer your time you go listen we all got all the time in the world right now right. you know what i'm saying we're all yeah. cooped up in our houses all day long you may as well be thinking of creative ways to help and service your people don't be afraid and this is uh, uh, i'm so glad that you said that because this was also another thing that always stifled trainers in the gym that you know oh, if they weren't getting paid a certain hour, hourly rate or somebody wasn't paying for their time they weren't doing it yeah. and that was such a weak minded way to approach growing your business do not be afraid to offer some of your time for free to build value to show the value mm -hmm. that you have and the capabilities that you can still provide incredible value to these people's lives even though you're not in person and then allow them afterwards to say oh that wasn't good enough yeah you're going to buy the right. trust at the end of the day i think one thing that wasn't brought up in this list uh, that is still an option right now is to actually drive to their place and train them in-house. And that's something that might not be available for everybody, but 
um, you know, whether permitted uh, outside or even, you know, just, just going and bringing a few items of equipment. Uh, I mean, you can get a lot done. I, I actually restructured my entire business. So half of it, I ended up started to service uh, people at their house and provide an even higher value of service. Dude, on that point, Justin, I used to have an a la carte to uh, mine. And one of the a la carte options was for 250 bucks a week, I would come to your house with the groceries and pre- prep, there you go. prep your meals for a week. Oh, I mean, and you don't even got to come to people's houses. You could prep it at your house mm-hmm. and then deliver it. How sick is that right now when food and grocery stores are a shit storm mm-hmm. for you to take and prepare your clients meals for a, a premium cost over what it, what the groceries cost you to do that and then deliver it to their house. I could tell you too, there was like two options for me. I, I would end up like start introducing more pieces of equipment as we got more involved, but really like just as your very basic kind of setup, I'd have rubber bands. I'd have, you know, a foam roll maybe. I'd have a TRX uh, strap. Uh, and, you know, the, you could do a whole lot with just that and then maybe one set of dumbbells that was appropriate, you know, for their, their level. Uh, and then, you know, typically either they have a setup and have a bench or, you know, just sort of a designated area in their house where you can, you can set it up and you can even get like the, uh, pull up that, that goes in the doorway. So, uh, mm-hmm. you know, there's options out there if you wanted to look into it. And, and of course, Amazon is still, you know, doing just fine and you can order from there and get it delivered. Uh, so you could start your own sort of travel and business. Right. And again, in, uh, you know, we're talking about getting creative here. You could even offer your client, hey, you know, I know you're at home with your husband. Uh, let him join in. I'm going to take you guys right. both through Buddy training, yep. some, some mobility exercises together. Um, you know, it's 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 I'm thinking about it right now and I'm telling you that the trainers that are not afraid, um, the ones that are uh, that that really feel that deep that that feeling deep down inside of why they're trainers in the first place, which is to really help people uh, become healthy, okay? Those are the ones who, who get cut through the fear. I'm going to tell you something right now. You're going to see some of the most successful trainers uh, ever come out of this situation because it's re- it's going to it's going to they'll adapt. To- the yeah. good one, the good yes. one, the good ones will I mean and my wheels are spinning just as this a lot of this conversation obviously was not planned other than us wanting to cover this point and you know I, I haven't had to think like this as a trainer in a long time but you know, you brought up a point with the the spouse or whatever. I mean, I I know my clients. I know uh, who my single businessman or woman is that needs to work on mobility. I know my family person, my person who's got three kids mm-hmm. and a wife, and they're very family oriented. What a cool opportunity for you now to include the whole family. Say, hey, I'm gonna do something. Put me on video so I can get the whole family involved in some movement and exercise and make it creative and fun. Man, you do some shit with the the right client that sees a ton of value in that, mm-hmm. I mean, they're going to love that. And that's it's your job as a leader and as a trainer right now to be getting your wheels spinning, thinking about those type of points and who who that applies the best to and getting creative and doing that with them. That's it. And you can structure your pricing however you want. You can do very, very short sessions, 15, 20 minutes. You could do longer ones, 30, 45 minutes. You could charge uh, less than you probably do now. Um, uh, and you'll probably make more because it's all electronic. Um, you know, you could fit a lot of people in, um, Mm -hmm. when you're doing it all electronically, uh, or when you're not paying a fee to the gym or, you know, gas and that kind of stuff. Um, so you, you may actually find yourself doing uh, better than you might've done before. And then when the gyms reopen again, remember you got this incredible loyalty now for your clients, you know, you know, we talk a lot about communicating with confidence and being assertive. And, you know, people, you know, that sounds good, but people may be thinking, well, you know, where does that come from? Well, it comes from speaking with, with through your, uh, through your passion um, and staying in your own lane. Remember to stay in your lane. You are the fitness expert. Talk about fitness. That's what you know. And that's what you know more than they do. That's where your confidence is going to come from. That's where your assertiveness is going to come from. The other thing I want to tell you is, you know, and this is something I learned as a, as a trainer. This actually took me a little while to learn. You're going to hear a lot of conversation about the coronavirus and the stress and the whatever. And, the, and it's your job to listen, but it's also your job to direct the conversation to something more positive. Uh, you know, so they're going to tell you about the stresses and did you hear what happened or whatever? Yeah, I did hear what happened. And then change the conversation and move it to something that's more positive. Be that because what will end up happening, here's what's going to end up happening. 
this person who's going to be working with you through FaceTime or over the phone, they're going to start to associate that good feeling that you give them every time that they're on the phone with you. They're going to look forward to your appointment. In fact, they're probably going to look forward to your appointment more than they did before because they have nothing else to do. You know, they're stuck at home and now they're going to be like, man, I can't wait till Wednesday when I get on the phone with, you know, with, with, with Justin, he's God, man, that guy makes me feel good. Like I, I'm not watching the news right, when yeah. I'm, when I'm, when I'm on FaceTime with him and he's positive and he's giving, telling me jokes and he's, you know, I, my body feels good. I'm moving, you know, besides the times I'm with Justin, I'm on the couch uh, or, you know, working on my computer from home or whatever. Um, you know, I think I might want more sessions with him. I think I might want to work. Uh, you know, more frequently with them. This is why I like the short, se- the shorter sessions. Because- oh, I, I love the idea of breaking up in 15 minutes. I think it's a brilliant way to uh, stretch their money out and uh, and little ways to build value that are quick that could potentially add to uh, could actually end up being more money, like you said. Yeah, if yeah, you- and, I, and 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 honestly, if, you know, from a from a results effectiveness standpoint, um, I think it's probably more effective right now, considering the circumstances considering that you're probably going to need to focus more on mobility and that kind of stuff yeah. to do shorter, more frequent sessions instead of less frequent, longer sessions. Well, I really do. I it's how, it's how we're training. Oh, it's yeah. how we're doing it right now. We're all coming. We, we walk yeah. out to the garage, get a couple squats in, go back to doing stuff, working in the house, doing shit, Just come back. constantly pick stuff up, yeah. you know, move around and then come back to it. Oh, yeah. dude, I bet you guys are getting great results. I bet you're feeling strong from that. Oh, I feel great right now. You know what's interesting, too? That have you guys taken payments from somebody in a while, too? This is another thing, like, as a uh, independent trainer, like, I get a lot of questions about it, like PayPal or Square or these kinds of things. Well, have you used uh, Apple Pay? You can actually basically text. Uh, they can text payment through Apple Pay, and then it's just, you know, you receive it right away. So it's a pretty – it's so easy. Yeah, Apple Pay or Venmo or like – Or Venmo, anything yeah. like that. Like if you haven't got up, you know, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with it yet, like familiarize yourself with it. Uh, and then you could just capture, especially these low payments. You do like the 15 minute, 30 minute session, boom, they just text it to you and then race it, go. Oh, that's, you can even accept toilet paper as payment these days. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be more valuable than dollars. <laughs> Holy shit, you're right. Yeah, people are going to start wiping their ass with dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Pretty soon. Give me that uh, Yeah, no, no I, I thought, I think this is a really, uh, you know, I really wanted to do this because, um, you know, I, I know it's, it's, it feels scary, but we have to remember uh, who we are as trainers. We are the, the, the fitness and health leaders for our clients and so they're okay you know for a second we're scared we panic for a bit but now it's time to stand up and and be that 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 person that you that you were born to be that person that the reason why you became a trainer in the first place which is to lead people to fit and healthy lifestyles and i'm telling you right now they need it more uh than ever before so yep and with that, go to mindpumpfree.com and download all of our guides, resources, and books. They cost absolutely nothing. You can also find Justin, Adam, and myself on Instagram. You can find Justin at Mind Pump Justin. You can find me at Mind Pump Sal and Adam at Mind Pump Adam. Thank you for listening to Mind Pump. If your goal is to build and shape your body, dramatically improve your health and energy, and maximize your overall performance, check out our discounted RGB Super Bundle at mindpumpmedia.com. The RGB Super Bundle includes MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic. Nine months of phased expert exercise programming designed by Sal, Adam, and Justin to systematically transform the way your body looks, feels, and performs. With detailed workout blueprints and over 200 videos, the RGB Super Bundle is like having Sal, Adam, and Justin as your own personal trainers, but at a fraction of the price. The RGB Super Bundle has a full 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can get it now plus other valuable free resources at mindpumpmedia.com. If you enjoy this show, please share the love by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and by introducing Mind Pump to your friends and family. We thank you for your support, and until next time, this is Mind Pump.